and the Minister can resume her seat. Question number eight, Grant Robertson. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Finance. Does he stand by the statement he made on behalf of the then Minister of Finance, quote, we have a very ambitious target for export growth, end quote. If so, what progress has been made towards that target? Oh, good question. The Honourable Stephen uh, Mr Joyce. Speaker, yes, it is an ambitious target the government is committed to under the business growth agenda by 2025, which I remind the me member is just eight years away. Notwithstanding some current headwinds, which include a decrease in world trade intensity, uh, the big drop in dairy prices and an unscheduled Stats New Zealand revision, uh, exports by value have grown and real exports as a percentage of GDP has held relatively steady and our goods and services exports have grown tremendously in markets where we have free trade agreements. Question, Mr. Speaker. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Can he confirm that the export target referred to in the primary question was that his government was, would lift exports from 30 per cent to 40 per cent of GDP, and that using the methodology used in the business growth agenda, exports have in fact decreased as a percentage of GDP? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, in terms of the first part of the question, that is the target to be achieved by 2025. In terms of the second part of the question, real exports as a percentage of GDP, which is the figure I'm referring to, have dropped slightly in the last calendar year. Uh, but they've actually been remarkably steady over the last 10 or 12 years. And I think the achievement for our exporters has been, despite a large drop in dairy exports, uh, they actually, their exports overall have grown. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. Why has the value of New Zealand's overseas merchandise trade fallen in real terms by $603 million since 2008? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, in the modern world we don't just talk about merchandise trade. We talk about goods and services, Mr Speaker, and in fact, uh, for the members' benefit, more and more of New Zealand's exports are now in services rather than in goods, uh, which is all about adding value to volume, uh, which I think the member used to be in favour of. So, Mr Speaker, overall our exports, I don't have the figures since 2008, but overall our exports in the last two and a half years have grown from just under $68 billion to $70 billion, despite a drop of $5 billion in dairy exports. Supplementary question. Grant Robertson. Why was the target to lift exports to 40 per cent of GDP not included in the Trade Agenda 2030 policy announced recently by the Government? The Honourable well, Stephen Joyce. Uh, well, it's included in the Business Growth Agenda targets and it will be in the next update. Train spotting again, Grant. You wonder why you... Order. Supplementary question, Grant Robertson. When he was asked in February what had happened to the target to lift exports as a percentage of GDP, and he said, quote, watch this space, did he mean literally that there was now a void because he had ditched the target? The Honourable Stephen Joyce. Well, Mr Speaker, this is why the member is known as a train spotter. He's an absolute train spotter, Mr Speaker. He does not actually focus on the substance of anything. He literally looks at little bits of paper all day and tries to work out where the inconsistency is. And, Mr Speaker, this government is proud of its record, which has seen exports grow at the same time as the dairy industry has gone back $5 billion. Now, the member may recall that a couple of years ago he thought that that would mean the dairy industry declining would mean the end of New Zealand exports. He was wrong. Point of order, Grant Robertson. Mr Speaker, I seek leave of the House to table a document compiled by the Parliamentary Library tracking uh, exports of goods and services as a percentage of GDP, uh, showing that it has uh, dropped since the National Leave us sought to table office. that particular information. Is there any objection? Or is there objection or the member wants to speak before? I just I wanted to check whether it was real or nominal. The member's asking it, it's real. I'll put the leave and the, and the House will decide. Leave us sought to table it. Is there any objection? No objection that can be tabled. Question number nine, David Seymour.